Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's December the 28th, 2022, and it's freezing cold. Uh, it is a minus 8 Celsius, feels like minus 14 right now. And when I went to work this morning, it felt like minus 20. Uh, it was cold. It meant I needed extra layers to do the mail, and it was a lot of stuff to do today, so it was a busy day. As uh, you can expect when you come back from Christmas and Boxing Day, and uh, that first day back tomorrow, I'm sure it will be even busier with the parcels. One of the problems with delivering today was that most of the mailboxes, I had uh, had problems opening the two new mailboxes because the locks were frozen. So some of them I had to bring the mail back and I'll have to try again tomorrow because I didn't have any de-icer. It was on order and they were hoping to pick some up today. So hopefully we'll have it tomorrow and uh, I can get all the mail delivered that I have in the run of the day. But all the parcels went out and got delivered, so that was the good thing. All right, that's not why you tuned in to hear about uh, what I did at work today. But uh, yeah, there's some snow on the ground out there today. Had a few flurries. Why did you tune in? What's going on today? Well, last week I got um, these cards and two envelopes. I'm showing you one envelope because I've amalgamated a bit for a reason. So. All of those things all have stamp related uh, gifts that came with them. So this one here came from Jessie in Puerto Rico and she's created this little envelope here and you open up the envelope, you can see the stamps inside of it. So I'm gonna show you those stamps first and then we'll get to the next one after that. So the first stamp that Jessie sent of the three that she sent was this one here. This is the boat that commemorates the discovery of Puerto Rico on the 19th of November, 1493. See, Columbus was there in 1493, the 500th anniversary in 1993. So it's been 29 years since that. So 529 years since the discovery of Puerto Rico. The next stamp that she sent was this one here. This is the first governor elected by the people in the late 40s. And the final stamp that she sent was this one here. La Fortaleza. This is the governor's home. What a beautiful stamp is by far my favorite of the three. I love how she sends stamps that are um, specific to Puerto Rico. So thank you, Jesse. Jesse is Jesse Opida. If you go on YouTube, you can find hers and uh, she does some different videos as well. So you can see what she does and very creative. And there are the stamps that she put on the postcard and the secret envelopes that held those stamps and message inside. So thank you very much, Jesse. The next card and stamps I want to show you is this one here that came from Terry in Ontario and she did the same thing. She created a little pocket on the side. There was a, a message. You can peel back the envelope and so she could create her message there and create an envelope that hid the stamps that she wanted to send. So let me show you those ones. So Terry sent a variety of stamps from a couple different countries. So I'll show you the Canadian ones first. There's some really nice ones of the Queen. A variety of different years. You can see how she's changed. And then one that's not the Queen on the end, there's a slug. <laughs> so uh, thank you for those ones. And then she sent some United States stamps. We have a nice mailbox. And then we have some wise men stamps, the forever stamps. And the Virgin Mary, oh, I've knocked that stamp over. There we go, let me show you that one up close. Looks like some kids maybe playing hockey there on the, on the river. And then we have a stamp of the Netherlands and one of Ghana. So no particular theme to these ones, just a nice gift of a few different stamps. So thank you very much, Terry. That was great. It's always nice to get stamps, whether they're from your own country or from far and wide, whether it's theme oriented or uh, just random stamps that you might like to show off, which is great. This is what this video, these videos that I do that are stamps are just to show the different stamps that are out there. And uh, I focus on stamps that come from Canada generally of late, from my father's collection, but I'm gonna be mixing that up with other countries as well. I just wanted to get through what I had. But as people send me uh, stamps, I make videos on those too. So I have done some videos in the past on things that Linda from the United States has sent me, and uh, I'm going to be doing some more of that right now. Now, Linda sent me two envelopes, 
but I combined them into one just to uh, show you that. You can see up here there's a forever stamp that has not been cancelled and I picked this envelope for this stamp in particular. These are forever stamps from the United States and they're by year. So I'm going to show you uh, the different packets that she sent me and see what you think. All right, I said forever stamps. They're not all forever stamps, but this first pack is 1962 to 1987. They're not uh, in that particular order, but I wanted to go through and show you the ones that she sent. And then uh, we're going to break it up and there's going to be another packet of stamps that are going to go from the, sub or the, uh, the years that follow. 1988 to 2009. So we're gonna start with this one here. This is all, these are all stamps from 1962 to 1987, Christmas themed. Are you already finding the stamps that you prefer? Are there some that jump out at you that you really enjoy? You prefer the, prefer the more religious ones? Do you prefer the ones that show activities? Maybe more ornamental? Kids drawing of Santa maybe? Decoration of the Christmas tree? We saw this mailbox one already. That showed up. Come with the dog and the cat playing together in the snow. So there's the first lot, which is quite a few. All right, so once again, these are all stamps that were issued between 1988 and 2009. And uh, some of them I've kind of put together as I know that they're in sets, but others are just uh, randomly there. But you can see here coming up on the uh, blue snowflakes, there's four of them in the set that she sent anyways. There may be others, I'm not sure. This one is upside down. Take a moment, correct this one here so we have the snowman the right way up. I like these ones here, the uh, Santa Ornaments series. There's four of those that were sent. They're pretty cute. This one here, we actually have an ornament that looks identical to that on our birch tree. a lot of the Lady Madonna and the Christ Child is a very uh, common theme during all these years it gets issued over and over again as they do say the reason for the season right some of the uh, nutcrackers. I like these ones as well. Some holly there. Santa. Different versions of Santa Claus you might see in the different wreaths. Wowzers, that's a lot of stamps. And that was the second pack of stamps that she sent. There's still a third. So this last batch are all stamps from 2010 onward. They're all forever stamps with that winter theme. So she's continued on there. This one, I guess, this probably goes like this. Even though, there, just because the date shows the correct that way. And I'm gonna say my favorite stamps of all the ones that 
Linda sent are in this final packet based on a childhood experience. Can you figure out which set of stamps those are? These look like the Coca-Cola Santas. And there you have it. So these stamps all came in one envelope and the previous two packets came in another. Thank you so much, Linda, for the two envelopes, for the two Christmas cards, for the plethora of stamps. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching really enjoyed seeing all the variety of uh, American stamps that have come out over the holiday seasons over the last, what are we saying, 50 years, 60 years almost? Yeah, 60 years, I would say, of uh, stamps there. I really appreciate you sharing them. I want to thank Jesse, too, for the stamps from Puerto Rico with the explanations. Thank you to Terry for the variety of stamps that she sent as well. Uh, whether they were Canadian or U.S. stamps or other. The Netherlands in there, Ghana in there. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you for allowing me uh, to show them off and uh, so you guys can all experience them. Um, if you figured out what stamp series of those uh, ones that came from the U.S. that uh, struck a chord with me, leave a comment. Take your guess. Let's see if you're right. Um, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed that. What do I have coming up tomorrow? This video is probably coming out tomorrow, actually, because I just put one out today. So this video is probably going to be coming out on Thursday, the 29th. And then Friday, is a, it's a short mail week. It's only three days. So I'm still going to have a mail video. So I'll show you what Post Crossing and Friend Swap stuff showed up during these three days. Uh, two cards came today. So to just give you a hint of what showed up. But I don't know what came out my P.O. box. I only checked those on Friday. So... Um, Two cards came at my uh, my uh, old address, I guess we want to put it that way. And uh, I still have a few more to check. Most everything goes to the P.O. Box these days. So it's almost a big surprise on Friday when I go and I check to see what's actually showing up there. And uh, usually the people, the postal clerks and whatever, call me that dad guy when I come in and they kind of tell me whether or not I've got a bunch of stuff waiting or not. So that's kind of fun too to have an interaction with them. I appreciate that. All right. It's been a long video, so i got to let you guys get back to your day. I know I've monopolized your time enough for today, so have a magical week. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?